What is up Guitar Legends? Sam Wilde here, we're looking at Brimful of Asher today. We can get through this quite quickly because it's not too complicated and there's a lot of repetition. Alright, let's start with the main chord progression that's going to work for the choruses and it also works for most of the verse section as well. So we have three chords that we use for this entire song. We have A. Now you can play with fingers 1, 2 and 3. But I prefer using 2, 3 and 4, personally, but it's totally up to you. You also notice I have the thumb resting on the E string, just to stop it from ringing when we play the A chord. Then we go to E major, I use fingers 1, 2 and 3 for this. Pause the video if you need to practice the shape. And our last chord is D major. Again, I've got the thumb resting on the E string, we don't want that playing during this chord. Alright, so let's take a look at the rhythm. All right, we have some pulsing to do with the chord hand. Okay, so for A, for example, we play down up, and then we're going to actually release the fingers. Okay, you can't really see it very well, but it's a small movement. Okay, so you just release the fingers, but they're still touching the strings, they're just not pushed in anymore. So all right. And you can still strum down here. So we play down up down three four. But you're releasing them on that second down. Three four. Three four. Three four. All right, now we can play up, down, up with the fingers pushed in like so. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now we'll do one more um, with the fingers off and then we'll do another upstroke with the fingers in like so. Two, three, four. One, two, three, play it with me. One, two, three, four. Then. So now we're going to play E major on the upstroke. And we're going to just try and add that onto the end of our A major chord first, like so. Three and four. Three and four. Three and four. So you can hear how we we play the strings on the first downstroke, but the E chord only pushes in on the upstroke. Right, like so. So we'll do another upstroke on the D chord after the E chord. So we're only going to play E major once. One upstroke. Then we're going to come up on the D string, on the D chord, sorry. On the D chord we can do more continuous strumming, which is nice. So all together, one, two, three, four, A. So on D we play up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. When you change to A major, you can actually hit the strings on the upstroke. And then you land on the downstroke. So, okay, so it's fine if you hit some open strings because it kind of leads into the A chord very nicely anyway. So all together, one, two, three, four. Now 
Now you notice I'm adding in this dinner slap dinner bum slap dinner slapping. If you want to get this slap effect, all you have to do is bring the hand into the strings as you do that downstroke. So we do on beats two and four, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four, like so. It's quite nice if you don't have a drummer playing you're kind of making the drum sounds within the strumming. Now you don't have to do this. Um, some of you might find it too tricky and that's fine. Just, just leave it out and just do regular strumming as I've shown you like so. So we're gonna do this chord progression for most of the song. It works for every chorus. It works for the intro. Um, and it's even going to work in the verse. However, the end of the verse, we do something a little differently uh, because we need to get from the verse into the chorus. So there's this little connection part here. Okay, so let me show you this. For the verse, we do it three times. Dancing behind the scenes. This is two. And three. And then we're going to play So you'll notice the fourth time we played something different. We had A, D, A. So to keep it simple, we're just going to play down, up, down, down, up, down on the first two chords. And then the last time, A again, down, up, up, down, up, down. And again, last part, down, up. Okay, so try and do this line with me after four, one, two, three, four, A, D, A, and again. For those of you that want to take your playing to the next level, make sure you sign up to my premium membership website. You'll gain access to all my backing tracks, all of my lessons, and I'll teach you how to improvise, solo, and play advanced chords. Enjoy the rest of your lesson, guys. All right, well done for getting this far, guys. We've learned most of the song. We just need to look at the bridge, and there's also this riff part that happens a few times. <laughs> So have a look at the tab, it's going to help you with this riff as I show you this. Uh, it is in relation to the capo, so do bear that in mind, in case you're getting thrown off there. So we start with open A, All right, we're going to use the plectrum here, then third finger, we get this minor pentatonic uh, scale here, so third fret from capo, like that. Open D, then second finger on, second fret from capo. Let's try that. Last part. Open G twice, and then second finger again for G2. Now you can either do all downstrokes or you can do alternating. It's totally up to you. I just do downstrokes. Maybe an upstroke on the last one because you're about to do a downstroke. You can even, one thing I should have done in the video, use your third finger on this last one instead of finger two because then you're ready for the A major chord, right? All right, the last section is the bridge. For the bridge, we just go from A to D, back and forth. Now 
this is trickier because we're gonna have 16th note rhythm instead, okay? But only on the D chord. So for A major, we just play down, 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 three downs. The middle down is, you can barely hear it, it's just quiet, right? On D, we play down, up, down, down. If you want to keep it simple, just play down, down, down. Okay, so the simplified version is just A, D, A, D, A. Just three strums down, 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 down. Or on D, you can play down, up, down, down. Now in between the chords, I just play down, up, just to kind of connect them together. You hear that? Down, up, one, two, down, up, one, two, down, up, one, two. Just connect them together when you're changing chords. Down up, down up, down up. Or just do one down for those in between ones, like so. So try and play this with me, just so you get used to it. After four, one, two, three, four, we are down, 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 up, down, 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 down. have to go back into the verse. All right guys, that's all of the sections learned. I just want to point out, when you do the bridge for the second time, there's also like a drum part where there's no music, no guitar, no organ, nothing, just drums. But if you want, you can still keep playing, but just play scratch sound. So you can keep the bridge going. During the drum solo. You just play the bridge rhythm, down, 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 Right, it's exactly the same as the bridge, but just scratches. Okay, so you can do that during the drum solo section if you want to. All right, guys, that is everything. The play along is coming up now, so you can play along with me and the song. You will have the chord diagrams and the rhythms up as a guide. Don't forget you can slow down the song if you're struggling with the rhythms a little bit, just slow it down for a few times before you go full speed. I just want to point out the original song is in a strange tuning. What I mean by that is the whole song is tuned up about half a note, which is very strange. So I've actually tuned this down for the play along, so don't worry about that. But if you want to play along to the actual song, you might have to tune your strings up just about half a note for them to be in tune with the song. Okay, just pointing that out for you guys <laughs> in case you get confused when you play along to the original. Okay, if you found this lesson helpful in any way guys, please give the video a thumbs up or like and make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell icon too. All right, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. One, two, one, two, three, four.